At long last, the final update to the Wallpaper TV Window Saga is here. I've come up with a couple of really fun ways to take advantage of the features we saw in our previous videos, including its 4K resolution, spectacular image quality, integrated Dolby soundbar, and HDR support, and I'm rolling the whole thing into something people have been asking about for quite some time. So. Step into my office, we are going for a little tour, sponsored by LG. Almost everything in here has a story behind it. The textured wall on the left as you come in is not wallpaper, which is what most people assume. It's actually made up entirely of painted motherboards, and it's not just for looks, see? You can hang stuff off the little I.O. ports. As for my desk, that hasn't changed much. The custom PC that was built into it was designed to my spec with a 10-core Extreme Edition processor, a 1.2 terabyte Intel PCI Express SSD, and a SUSE workstation board with 10 gigabit networking, 64 gigs of Corsair Dominator Special Edition memory, 24 terabytes of local storage, a totally overkill water cooling system from EK, and an LG 38UC99 38-inch 75Hz ultra-wide monitor with a C910 webcam and a Razer Siren Pro for video calls, and some pretty boring peripherals. They're actually so old, they're not even, they're not even RGB. I'm using a Corsair Raptor M45 because it's one of the only mice that doesn't agitate my wrist. And as for my G710 Plus, honestly, nothing else would feel quite right. This baby has seen me through literally hundreds of thousands of words of LTT script material, including the ones you're listening to right now. And I have no intention of replacing it until it fails. This wall here is where I keep all the sentimental stuff that I've acquired over the years. I've got uh, the world's creepiest renditions of Han Solo and Leia Organa with mine and my wife's head swapped onto them, a broken Threadripper 1950X CPU, a framed badminton jersey, an entire silicon wafer of quantum processors. That was really cool. That was from when we checked out D-Wave. And finally, one of those Chinese money cats that uh, my wife got me as sort of a joke when we moved into this building. And then he's wearing this super weird thing that this Javello company sent. They were like, oh, check it out. You could do engraved pendants with your face on it. And I was like, wow, who would wanna do that? Bringing us finally to the big change. Now, the original plan here for the wallpaper TV window was to just basically leave the room the way that it was and put the TV on the wall. But as you can see, we actually ended up reconfiguring this entire side of the room to make it significantly more functional. So we added some shelving up on the top left. I can use that to store ongoing projects or things like the extra modular cables for my test bench power supply. We added some shelves over on the right, which are, have ended up being mostly decorative. They're not really big enough to put anything that useful on. And we added this built-in desk. So it's the right height for me as it is, which means I no longer need to have one of our more expensive up desks in here. We've got a pass-through power that's backed up by a UPS, as well as pass-through USB power for whatever I might be running on the bench surface right here. And use case number one for the wallpaper TV is Da, 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 da. So right now I'm testing this external GPU box and there you go. I'm just using it as a secondary display for the laptop right here. So I've got two HDMI cables that are coming up through the bottom of the desk. One of them comes up through here for a test bench and the other one comes up over here for a laptop. So I can just sit here and use these, uh, throw a video up there if I wanna have it playing in the background while I'm working or whatever the case may be. Use case number two is probably the most obvious one. So using an additional PC, just a little low power consumption one plugged into yet another HDMI input in the speaker bar that's below the desk here, we can use a combination of stock video footage from online and our own clips, like the one that's running behind me, to change the environment in the room more than you would probably think. So whether it's the uh, Serengeti or whether it's a view out over the water in downtown Vancouver or if I'm in a bad mood, whatever goes better with that, 
This use case is probably the most wow factor one for when people come into the room because the image quality on this thing is just breathtaking, which isn't to say that it's necessarily the one that's most fun for me. Okay, so let's pull this off and check this out. Wait, this was just working. This right here is the NewTek Studio Monitor app. And with this, I can replace the functionality of the $50 piece of glass that I could have put here with exactly the same experience for the value price of only $8,000 for the TV plus a whole bunch of other gear. Yes, my friends, I can see exactly what I would have seen if we had just put a window here. Or, thanks to the wonders of uh, modern battery banks with AC outputs, networking, and, uh, I don't know, tripods, I can see anything I want anywhere with a network connection. This thing actually does go wireless, but um, I've found that the wired connection is a little more reliable. Go figure, right? Oh, I just dropped the battery out of the camera. Oh. Is that good? No, that's not good. Don't mind me, employees. I am just putting this camera here. Pay no attention to the camera. It will not be used for surveillance. Don't think of it as a camera. Think of it as a window of opportunity. Check it out. They don't suspect a thing. My totally discreet tripod setup gives me a window into the goings on of the LMG headquarters. Neat, huh? Well, whatever, I like it. So thanks to LG for sponsoring this project. Thanks to you guys for patiently waiting for all the parts to come out. If you guys dislike this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured, like the W7 TV, at the link in the video description. Or, uh, right while you're down there, you can also check out our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, as well as our community forum.